Hey guys, what is up? I am Devil Driven. Today's video, we're doing the custom card art for the Gwent Art, art Contest. Um, these cards, the art that was submitted for these, um, they let you vote on the Play Gwent website. They give you five votes to vote on your favorites. That was not enough votes. These, some of these cards are so amazing. I mean, I, like the two that I picked today, they could, they look like they belong in Gwent right now. That's how just amazing these artists are. So, shout out to them. Definitely going to give them a shout out for um, creating such amazing art. Um, but yeah, these these two were were two that I felt that I seen them on Twitter a lot. I seen them on uh, a lot of the uh, discords that I'm in. I'm just like, man, these. These are just gorgeous cards. So these were the abilities I came up with for them. Uh, first up is, I think everybody really loved this card, uh, Lady of the Lake by Daniela Ivanova. Uh, I hope I said that right. Um, this is the card, she, the art she made, and this is what I came up with for its ability. Uh, so we got Lady of the Lake. Look at that. I mean, that is just incredible. Uh, she's one strength gold card. And she switches the power of all units on the opposite row. Okay, so you would drop this in the back row if you had like, you know, three Freyas in the back row and they had a whole bunch of boats and great swords. These things would flip flop. They would be boosted though, because the way Switch works, um, the Venadol Elite, um, the one that switches power with uh, Cantarella and Nilfgaard, that's how Switch works. So it would be boosted strength. So you could. I don't know, maybe we, since if if they do lower it down to um, two rows in Gwent, D-Bomb might make a comeback, and um, this would be the answer for it if you did, because you would just straight up nuke them. Um, but, uh, but yeah, the way I looked at it is it kind of fits the, the theme of the Lady of the Lake. She ends up, if, if you haven't read the story or know what's going on with this, uh, Siri is able to go into different worlds, and she ends up in medieval times with uh, King Arthur and, and Sir Galahad and everything else and the Knights of the Round Table. And she's actually, like, in this lake, and she actually ends up running into Sir Galahad from the Knights of the Round Table or whatever. And uh, he thinks she's this, you know, like legend or something he's gonna actually you know get some out of it but that doesn't happen because siri ain't like that but uh i also gave her one strength because i thought well one the ability is insane if it if it actually pops off the right way and two she is butt naked in the water so i figured she shouldn't have a lot of strength because she ain't got no clothes on. <laughs> um but yeah that's what i came up with i figured because i mean in the in the picture it looks like the world is like kind of flipped upside down. She's underwater looking up at the sky. Um, and sh she's in a completely different world. Her whole world just turned upside down and she's going to make the best of it. So she's going to take everything that's over here and bring it over to here. So I thought that was a pretty cool idea. It might be broken. It might, uh, it might not be. I mean, you could, you know, I guess it's, it, it once it hits the board, if you used it as a last turn, I mean, it's game over, but so is Siri Nova. I mean, if you have last say on Siri Nova, usually you win. So um, if they drop Siri Nova and you put this on the same board, you're getting 23 strength. <laughs> so it might be broken. Uh, I'm not sure. I mean, uh, you definitely would use it in an earlier round than, you know, at the end, I would think. Uh, unless you think it is a Siri Nova deck or something like that. But, uh, yeah, that's what I came up with, and uh, Daniela, awesome job, amazing art. Uh, I hope this card makes it in, because it, it, it deserves to be. Uh, next one, this is another one. Let me get the artist uh, artist name up here. Uh, da, 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 da. I'm going to find it. Oh, I just had it. Oh, da, 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 da. I mean, everything about these cards is just amazing. All right, here it is. Okay, now this one, this one looks like a Gwent card. Uh, it, it's just absolutely amazing. Uh, I think it's the best one, um, visually wise and everything. It just, I could, I could see this card being premium and just 
looking so alive. I just, I love it. Uh, but it's uh, Vivanine's Transformation by Alexandra Skibi. I hope I said that right. Um, but yeah, th this is the uh, card in the art, and this is what I came up with. Um, I gave her eight strength, and she would curse a chosen enemy and spawn an Oriole egg. Okay, so how this card would work. First, a little background story on it. I had to read up on this because I'm not this far away. Um, I guess this chick is like next in line for, I don't know what lady in waiting means, but she's the lady in waiting for Anna Henrietta. I think that's like next in line since she doesn't have any kids. If she were to die, she would be the queen or something. But um, that's what she is. And um, I guess when she was younger, her parents were in the woods and made this witch mad or god mad or something. And that witch or whatever demanded payment and they didn't have any. So they basically took her from her parents. And she ended up putting this curse on her. And nothing really was happening to her until she turned 15. And once she turned 15, she started turning into a bird. Okay. Gerald runs into this chick and she's using some kind of like ointment or something to keep her like appearance looking normal. Um, Gerald offers to help her, I guess, and he gives her two options to help her. He can either take the curse off of her and give it to someone who is willing to take it and it won't affect them as much as she did or it did to her. Or he could take the curse off of her and like put it into an oriole egg but then she would only have seven um seven more years to live um and that's not very long for a girl who looks like she's about 20 you know what i mean you don't want to kick the bucket at like 27 but uh the way it would work is this would hit the board and you would pick a unit to curse that would put a one turn timer on it uh similar to um the fire trap that uh, the Dolbethana trapper throws out and basically what it would do is you would choose the unit that you want to curse and it would also spawn the Oriole egg and then the Oriole egg I actually got the strength wrong on this but uh, what it would do is it would uh, boost the by seven it would be seven strength not eight because we got to keep the uh... well actually no it is no, it's, it's seven, yeah, seven, because she would get seven years. And then it would remove your opponent's curse. So if your opponent has the answer to kill this, it would save the cursed unit, but it would still boost her up seven strength. So she'd be 15, but if they don't have that answer, that opponent's thing's going to die, and you would, you know, lo they would lose that strength. And then if later on you're able to kill this, say with, I don't know, a Barbagazi or some type of archer, you could bust, boost it up again to 15. So the value she can get out of it, either way she's going to get boosted. I think the only way that the hard answer for this would absolutely be Radovid. Radovid would lock this, lock the unit, nothing would happen, and she would be an 8 strength unit. A regular lock, you, you could save the... The units it's cursed but you would um you could still get the uh, boost off of her if you're able to kill the um the ori leg but uh i don't know this one i thought was really cool i think the uh the concept of like it kind of reminds me of um uh, what's his name that spawns wilford and wilmar and everything kind of like that but you know a neutral and it seems like it's got a little bit of removal, and but it also has, you know, a way out. And it, it, it's also, to me, really, like, flavorful the way the, the options are given for this point in the story or whatever. And But, yeah, that's what I came up with today. Um, let me know what you guys think. Uh, I'm going to keep doing these. I enjoy doing them. Um, I, I get to read up on the... Um, the Witcher lore. Um, I've re I've read all the books except for the season of the storm or whatever, the new one. But uh, 
I don't know. I, I enjoy doing it, so hopefully you guys do too. Uh, let me know what you guys think of the cards, and uh, like always, thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you guys next time.